David Martin. I'm the Chief Executive of Ramshire Council. And impact assessment, well, it's really important to the Council, I think, for a lot of reasons. I think the main one is it helps us make better and fairer decisions. I think there are again several dimensions to this. Public services are changing, um, there's many reasons for that. Demography locally is one of them, um, the fact we've got significant financial constraints and challenges to deal with. I think also the application of new technology and maybe the opportunities that gives us for doing things differently. And so given all those changes I think it's important we understand the qualities and human rights impact of any proposed service design or alternative ways of working that we have in place. I think it gives an enormous um, additionality to the process of impact assessment. Um, in Renfrewshire, the inequalities that communities experience are quite stark. We've still got, even though it's 2014, significant differences in income disparities, on health and educational attainment. And I think that if you were to design services without thinking through the impact on equalities and rights, you might lead to unintended consequences for some groups in the community. And I think when you're thinking about services such as advisory services, and advocacy services, then the rights dimension is particularly important. And we live in, a, I think, an environment now uh, in Scottish public services where rights are really important. So we do have to address both equalities and rights in terms of any impact assessment work we do. Well, it's essential for the whole organisation to be bought into it, but clearly there's a major political and managerial leadership role. I mean, Ramshire Council's politicians have set their stall out as being committed to equalities and, and rights and try to do the best they can to address um, all of the community's needs and aspirations. And that's reflected, I think, in the way that managers such as myself, my corporate management team and, and leaders on the officer side, if you like, um, address the agenda too. You've got to be visible. You've got to be committed to it. You have to make sure you're investing the time and the resources in teams and in employees to be able to address impact assessment properly and also use it thoroughly and regularly at the start of service design processes. And I think if you set your stall out like that, then I think impact assessment uh, on both equalities and on rights will add huge value to the way we work in the Council. I think we were always bought into the rights agenda and to, to, to equalities, but it certainly helped us raise our game. So I think our understanding of the different dimensions uh, of rights and equalities is better. Um, it's been talked about more in the organisation, uh, it's more thoroughly reflected in reports to councillors and to our committees about uh, different policy issues and I think the learning and development tools we have in the organisation are now much better in terms of helping people address both equalities and, and human rights issues. M more opportunities and challenges, I think we have to do it. Uh, the council's committed to working quite differently with communities to the way we perhaps have in the past. It's more about working jointly, doing things with people rather than arguably to people. Um, and I think across the full range of services that we provide, we need to address equalities and human rights um, thoroughly, early and in a meaningful way so we avoid unintended consequences, we comply with the law and I think importantly we just provide better outcomes for people. Um, well, firstly, I don't think local authorities would be reluctant to tackle equalities and human rights issues. I think it's a question of helping you know, other, other councils to perhaps enjoy the experience we have, which is, is it's helped us get better at it. We're not there yet, um, and it's certainly helped us address, I think, some really challenging issues as you try to wrestle with you know, reduction in public expenditure um, and trying to do the best you can to continuously improve public services at the same time. So my, my advice, if they need any, would, would be to be open-minded and um, go down the same learning journey as we have. It's been very positive for us. It's certainly more at the centre of my radar, if you like, than it was before. Um, I think that the, the whole idea of rights uh, at the centre of our thinking in the organisation and mine personally means that we're a bit more tuned into the impact we might have on communities from some of the decisions that we make. So I think it's been a good experience and certainly it's helping us, I think, as I said at the start of the discussion, um, make better decisions, fairer decisions. Mm -hmm.